Uh, hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and today's of which is on the Imperial Pro Droid, that is as of now released, of course. <coughs> Anyways, so on the front of the box here, have that same kind of styling as the helmet sets. It's kind of do, kind of weird, but whatever. It's the picture of the set that there is, and also Imperial Pro Droid with the Empire symbol writing above. And then Star Wars logo, Lego logo. And then age recommendation 18 plus, as all these are. Set number 75306 has 683 pieces. And as we flip to the back, you see, see some of the screenshots of it from the movie. Although it could have had, although they could have also had ones of it from episodes of Clone Wars and Rebels. Which also feature it, but whatever. But then see another picture of it, and also the sizes of it, but and the logos again. Yeah. Now onto the manual, oh, which same kind of stuff going on, and same thickness as all these are, and also a little write up of it. Which, if you want to read it, pause the video. Same thing, but in other languages. Rips up over there. On the back, plain Star Wars logo. Then, how to win on the online survey. And the pieces that come with the set in the last step. Onto the probe droid itself, right here. Now, first of all, this is which comes in two separate sections, which is it on a clear stand and also the base. Now, the base of which, nothing much to make of it, since it's a whole bunch of well, cheese slopes, jagged slopes, of course, and also a couple of curved slopes as well, representing the snow of Hoth, and also. Probably some bits of rock, probably from the crater it made when it crash landed in the opening. And also, do get the usual plaque, like with all UCS sets, but saying Viper Snow or Viper Pro Droid. And if you want to read all of that, pause the video. And just like, and like all other Pro Droid, or I mean UCS ones, they're usually stickers, which if you like, if you put them on very carefully, you don't get any air bubbles, of course. But odd, interesting thing is, do get some of these smooth slopes around to rep also represent the snow of Hoth, of which I think is good, is nice. Make it a little different than most other black. Also, that there of which is just a little tile in there, which I think should have been slopes to hold this little brick into it. Oop, something fell off. Oh. So for the pro droid itself, see the color scheme. I kind of don't get this. How it's mostly darkish gray when I think it should have been army. Lightish green. When I think it should have been either black, at least black, or even darker gray or gunmetal or shiny gunmetal gray. But also, of course, in both rebels and or just rebel, also there was the all colorful versions. Oh, I almost forgot. Can't barely much stand on its own unless if you put it into the base, of course. And as I was saying, there was the colorful versions in Rebels, or Star Wars Rebels. But all you can kind of modify it like that if you want. And as for all the separate arms, of which, which all have different unique builds to it, but a lot of clip features. And some of them do feature BB-9E's heads, but in gray. Kind of nice for mocking. And of course one with unicorn horn above, and also... What you get is a little good supply of 
some pieces that come in separate bags like this one and also a couple others above and also those globe pieces in dark gray and also has a whole bunch of jagged slopes underneath and a couple of which do have little stickers on them but there's only four stickers in this which I kind of like and of course this armor witch which does have a little, little piston and clipping feature of it also on another swivel and, also, and of course also on these smaller ones do get a lot of the like candlestick pieces as well and these pieces same deal of in a separate bag if, if you get this set And as for the upper section, which does have good use of those like uh, curved corner pieces, That's of which there, and also the head build of which done pretty goodly and can swivel all around, kind of like R2D2s and whatnot. And then, also do get also one of those Technic uh, ratchet joint pieces but not used as ratchet joints just as to hold clear studs in them which I think nice use of them and also get a whole lot of the like studs with holes in of which to act as extra greebles which I think is does look good and if you look from the top you get couple more of the jagged or I mean smooth slopes but also with the stickers again and above are a couple of little poles that we've that I think were in the Fabuland range way back when and being reused here which I think is like the only time we've seen them reused and also again the candlestick pieces in black And as for articulation, you do get a whole lot of it here. Not just in like both in the head part of it and also all these arms. So you can get plenty of good movement and posability out of it. And and for displaying and all, I think it's a good display piece, of course. And in terms of like symmetry done pretty well. Uh, I see same kind of globe thing on the back of it but except one in orange of course and also good little detail there good snot all over and, uh, what else to say I think that's it and so now on to the final verdict so Overall, this I think is a pretty good set for what it is. I think a good representation of what it is, and also, and also, one of the only time, first times of us getting this as an actual, a uh, large build rather than in a small build minifig scale, of course. Although I think a minifig version of it that could have also been included here like with BBA, Dio, and Yoda, and whatnot. But at least it's all right, or just fine as is. And of course, the plaque decked out a little differently than other UCS plaques. And so, and, and so now, if you're looking to get this set for your collection, definitely pick it up. And if you want, if you want to like add it to the base to your hot uh, locked rain display also definitely pick up and then that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching